there, Casey here, and welcome to Home Cooking. Boy, am I excited today. Guess what I get to do, and guess what I get to share with you? My Mother's Day gift from my husband. Oh, he knew I was lusting after this particular gift. He bought me a Curtis Stone electric skillet. Oh yeah, he did. I have been waiting for so long to get that very particular electric skillet that I could cook pretty much anything in. I haven't had a good electric skillet, oh goodness, in so many years, I can't even tell you. And so I decided I'm gonna break it in with some lamb chops. And if any of you know these days, lamb chops are way expensive. So I may be taking a pretty big risk. But I think if this works, these lamb chops are gonna be oh so tender, oh so savory, so flavorful, and so cooked in this electric skillet. And if you wanna know how I'm gonna do it, come on and stay tuned. Grab a bit of this and a dash of that. Okay, we got our Adolf's meat tenderizer. Casey's blessing coming at you real soon. Got some Lowry season salt, sazon, black pepper, paprika. I got some Kikkoman's teriyaki marinade, some olive oil, and of course, the stars of the show, some wonderful little lamb chops. Now, let me give you a little tip before we get started seasoning this stuff. That Adolph's meat tenderizer right there, you want to take that and you want to put it all over one side of those lamb chops that are clean and dried and on the other side before you even begin anything else. Get it into a freezer bag. Get that freezer bag into your refrigerator for about 30 minutes. When that 30 minutes is up, then you pop it out. Let's get over here and start the seasoning. Now, as everyone knows by now, I cover my counter with a little bit of foil to keep it clean. Let's get these chops out here. And I'm gonna take that Kikkoman teriyaki marinade and I'm gonna put it on each lamb chop. And then what am I gonna do? I'm gonna give it a little rub down. I'm going to rub that teriyaki sauce all over the top and on the sides. And now I'm going to make it rain with my Casey's Blessing. And you can use whatever seasoning you have on hand right now. That is until you can get some of my blessings. Now, follow that up with a little bit of Lowry seasoned salt. Some black pepper. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to do what? I'm going to sazon it a little bit. And I get my sazon in a salt shaker so I can distribute it all over my meat real well. Just like that. Now we're going to take this paprika and we're going to put it on that meat too. And that's going to not only give it color, but a real delicious smoky flavor. We're going to flip it over and do that all again on the opposite side. Now, let's mosey on over here and talk about this electric skillet. Electric skillets and I have had a lovely relationship over the years and it all began when I was 15 years old and my mother got her first one. Boy, it was all the rage. It was the bomb. I tried to cook everything in this skillet. I had such a great time and it's such good memories. So I'm hoping that this Curtis Stone electric skillet is going to do my chops some justice. So, let's just see. Let's get it over here and put it on some heat. Not quite sure if I'm gonna do high. I don't know how it's gonna work, so let's try it out. I'm gonna get about two tablespoons of this olive oil in this skillet, and hopefully it doesn't get to smoking. Let's see what happens. It was too hot, so let's get it down to about a medium heat, get these chops in. And what I wanna do now, we're gonna brown those chops really well on one side. Let's see if they're ready. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, that's what I wanna see. I wanna see that sear, almost like it's been on the grill. Let's get them all flipped over. Yeah, 
Okay, now you see those juices are starting to come out of those chops and that teriyaki sauce and those seasonings are getting together. What we're gonna do after that is put a top on it and we're gonna start cooking it through. We're gonna turn the heat down to low and we're gonna start cooking that through with the steam and the juices. All right, let's roll that around. Now you see that sauce is looking real good. And what's gonna happen is we're gonna reduce it down as we cook. Let me get a top on that. We're gonna cook this for about 30 minutes and we're gonna end up with something that looks like that. Now you see how those juices have reduced down to a caramelization on those chops. Ooh, yeah, that looks so good. It looks so good. And we're gonna do what? We're gonna plate those puppies up. Ooh, look at that, look at that meat. Mm, mm, let me get a little taste taste. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. That is so good, I don't even have words. I know now why Mary had a little lamb. If you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to ring that notification bell so you'll always know when I'm coming at you again. And as always, Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And until next time, you know what I wish you. A little love, peace, and a whole lot of joy. I'll see you on the flip side. Bye-bye.